global engineering services and the interesting side from the demand is that what is driving the demand from the engineering services if you really look at it there are predominantly two things one the customers are looking for getting into emerging markets the volume growth is going to come from emerging markets and they need to look for products that meet the emerging market uh, customer requirements and the second aspect would be more to do with the regulations the emission the compliance that us uh, that are coming through which is making them to drive more greener products and third would be obviously looking for innovation in terms of improving pr price points improve technologies that can come into products and as well as improving the quality of the products that are being launched and now if you really look at it what is the engineering services for the last decade if you really try to look at it, predominantly it was driven by capacity and cost and post recession if you really look at it what is driving this market is essentially the capability and the market access the customers are looking for getting into emerging markets they are looking for price points of the products that meet the emerging market requirements and they also look for capability in the service providers when i say capability this is more to do with the domain expertise this is more to do with the technology gap that exists between the western and eastern uh, countries and the third thing would be ability of our engineers to manage the programs globally i think these things are becoming much more important from the customers uh, requirement standpoint now coming back to the supply side if you really look at it it is important for the service providers to look at a business model innovation because what has driven them in the last 10 years is not going to drive them for next 5 to 10 years if you need to realize a significant potential on the engineering services so they need to look for a different ways to deal with uh, business models let me explain what do we mean by the business model innovation if you look at it it's more of a tnd fixed price models and moving towards a risk reward or trying to take an end to end uh, a uh, design to build kind of opportunities is going to increase and the service providers need to be ready with that kind of uh, uh, models to be able to service the customers the secondary aspect is the domain or the capability gap and it can be bridged in multiple ways it can be bridged in terms of uh, expatriating few of the domain experts into this country it could be in india or china and also expanding the delivery centers not just looking at from servicing from india but servicing from where the demand comes from and we may have a front offices in the customer locations we may have front offices in various locations in europe and us and be able to service them with the customer uh, in front of the customer and having the delivery teams in the back end which may come from india or china the third element would be how do we really expand in terms of the scalability the question that one of the analysts have asked us few uh, months back in it in other segments you can scale the quality of supply you can scale the quantity of supply but can you scale the similar fashion in engineering because if you really look at it engineering takes long time to really build in terms of capability and engineer starts up after his graduation would probably take anywhere between 10 to 15 years to mature himself to be a good design engineer the key element that is going to come from the service provider angle is going to be how do we really train how do we really bring in the product process and the engineering understanding to the engineers fast enough and also make them to get exposed to live projects and make them to really go through the experience of managing a complex global programs and that is going to really accelerate the way the service providers can address some of the global requirements from the customers